things are a little bit too big. I mean, it's uh, Steve Tippinson, um, Solutions Architect for, for Adel Walrus. And uh, yeah, it will be the uh, interns. ETA to you, uh, we too present in growing what solution, which is our uh, intelligent building built in the side of it. And then just a bit about Kodak Morris first. Um, basically, for many, many, many decades, we have enabled digital transformation. So for a long design, we have been low throughout scanning technology, which of course does the best in each forms that you've been putting scanning technology out there. Um, but to help customers on their digital journey, we had put more efforts into our intelligent watching crisis and solutions which are based on AIs and probably that's what I'm going to hear about. Uh, we do as a kind of view also have a uh, service and support organization. So primarily we sell through folders and we use all those arms to build a road or we work on ET, ETA to um, enable them to support support needed. I am a technical person, so I will get behind that. Sit, sit on the chair behind the stream shortly, but uh, for now it's just as well. Basically, well, the key reasons we've moved into more in this space is because each tool transformation is scribing the AB team that was him. So, always use my English, but we get so I think, I go to players of going in and quick boot. Um, yeah, so the IBT market is growing at quite a fast rate as more and more companies want to get most out of their big stuff. My colleagues are mainly coming, have paid well, they could come in digitally. Um, but the market is rowing. So what we thought is we flip the side of a with solution to try and help our fees to make use of that refinement for our in the Some kind of other key spaces for IEP are uh, panting, so working out to cook house Babel, in where some things like that. Before any onboarding, patient onboarding, because you have documents that have what's to the types of documents, what's the types of data, milne track, financial ranking acceptance, the mortgage documents, loans is a bit a big thing for IEP. And then you got education legal transport. So basically Anything where they're averaging take top. They will copies now boxing hand with that more in top. So our solution is going to happen for a bit switching. And we we'll probably see slides like this and a number of fabulous presentations. We do have a, a very wide variety of inputs to you and um, for a bit switch. So we can inform from email. So gradually as companies go away, you can catch a up uh, by that scanner or all uh, the depends out. They will have customers emailing in PDF spreadsheets with their coaching ins with back as well. We did handle watch folders. So if you have right to vouch in the devices, you can do the scanning from them and top them in the watch folders off. And we can inform into that info input. We could pull something directly to a business system. We have a mobile capture of and capture on a logo device. I could. And uh, submit that into a pink book. And obviously, because we have to carry that in the app, but yeah. The scanner with as well, so that our uh, full scan range is not. It's also supported. And the key thing here is of the days in middle, which is the capture automation. And you'll see some more about this as we go through. Our model is to use the technologies from big Weeple either stays like Microsoft Free Bobble and ours. So we don't do the, we have some AI, we, uh, of most of the AI we use is from these companies, but for very simple reason, we choose to pay for a mode line. The sort of all very type of people in the AI. So why would we try and rebuild the air to be rate and we can just leverage and that's how 
And what we're doing is we work with more than that uh, talking classification, extraction, etc. And then equally you know, fall to work as we can out of that beta because they're going for capturing it. If you go up to use all the movement, something out. Connectors already built to anomaly picking systems. We can also integrate and then into this team that has a method of getting data venture. Okay, so the way you do it, I think we input, phase up, compute, we classify the play on. So we look at, we teach the system, tell all your business rules to the system to say, what makes a document an invoice or an XOD, bar form or an XOD application form? And we have AI and machine learning available to two colors do that. But we classify, we then extract the things out, so we read the content, recognizing by the handwritten text, machine written text, RO's, etc. And then we also cover sexual human. So you validate the data in the open internet. So we have active models as well. And finally, the integration delivery into the end system. So a key differentiator is for employment that is this exceptionally scalable. We do run in IPv4 with Linux for the telephone people. Um, we can have one server, we can have well, multiple service. So key, key features, we all serve a base. So you can, you talk, how we have customers. A large working group with the Vietnamese is we go processing Python to thousand pages a day, improving it, putting AI for it. So we can add all, you know, say three years of pages, we really can't handle that many hours of users. We are all the to the speed. And we lost through, we've got very intuitive even space are very easy for someone to use for your first persona to help yeah, to speak with. And we're fully flexible, so we can take input from anywhere. We play a portal, and there's no way to get now to paint the system, so we're very flexible or licensing from the things like other actual license, C Biocon, subscription, if you have lease and our licenses for users are clean current. So if you buy 100 UCs for the only 20 you can go on in the bay, you only be 20 licenses and nobody to buy the lad. We would try to be very flexible on the license. The key differentiator is that we have what we call open intelligence, which is our methodology is to integrate with people who are to a best free AL. So right now, we integrate with Google Wipes or our canvas. We also integrate in Babby to set up Amateur's Buck with it. And in the future, we'll have things like um, essentially Jack GPT. Why not? Something that gets data up in documents. So in the future, we will expand as the technology passes away. So just to spread one on, just to give an explanation, classification, and so. Basically, we just say in different culture words, splitting, splitting them using um, our technology and, and determining what they are, utility bills, um, application calls, whatever it might be. So, a lot of it appears, a lot of you guys are any more presentation, we can just jump, jump on the Zoom to the system. Well, this is going to be interesting, so that all not like Anna's for all with these ego. Okay, so this is an um, infrared weather fight, which is by a lot of that. It's not bappy. The first thing is to say is this is the user interface as a an operator would see it. So someone who's bad as 18, the data that he gets active. And you can log in, we can integrate with active directory and Microsoft or uh, Glidus. And we have our own screen. We can customize the own screen so you can have the same one as. And you can add shortcuts to the online stream to help call to make what the user's doing. So the whole thing is we want to speed up how some non processes these doorways. So we have um, some selected lists for things in our central office tasks. 
task score where we're going to do some manufacturing. And we did start a sand. So let's just inspire into this then stand. Obviously we're standing not the mean so oh, we normally have a scanner attack score. Yeah. So maybe you like to get stand out. So we captured some documents, but they're all just quantum bio of documents. So anyone who works with God in this is one of the biggest issues is you have to prep. You know, and then have documents to scanning code. So a lot of time is spare if the you saying this is a type of doctor, that's a type of doctor, and don't you call one here. So the idea of binding to with it is you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to do that instead. You just put the documents in and these documents may come in an email and may get PDFs that might have an uh, application from, from someone for a logo. They might have their driving license, their passport, their patient form, their brief with the dress, etc. So we don't care that we haven't got anything to sweat the documents. There's Flash and RFC hits through things like rotate images, but I don't think me too interested in that side of it. So what you want to see is what happens to this set of documents. So I just close the flag. And I'll go to the batch manager. And just in case that anything happens with me, why foreign Michael seen up a dead earlier. Right, so I'll, we'll see this while this going through. So the moment is going through the classification step. So we're going to go and we're going to classify what are these documents. So we've trained the system to understand what particular types of documents are. We classify now, so it goes into the express step. So what we're now doing is sending them to one of the tower engines to extract the information we seal on the stop that signs documents. We have two ways of doing it. One is we can teach the system by drawing an area that we're interested in and saying, yeah, that's an account under. We'll draw it all, it out from that side. But now with these two out the virus, you can do things like just give it a document that's never seen before. And it will give it the structure and give you the results back and think as you can interpret what it's still in fact. You can then map that to you that skills and I talk good and about that in a minute. Okay, so right now it's gone to the hit that step. So I could open it to the gear that he just uh, I'm back to hand. I refresh, you can see if you've now in that short up and put um, a new dot even uh, on new batch that we can index. In terms of index C, we could also select the next indexing tiles. So if you have a queue of under factories, you can just have people in the system or feed them the actual index. Or we need them as if people with the rights to select the next indexing tiles and you could have wide well, as I say. So one of the key things to understand about the way we'd rather take to is a foreign server architecture. This batch was currently on the server. So a client could be anywhere, anywhere in Romania, in Manila, in India, and as long as they've got access to the system, they can index from, from that location. So if I just uh, open the back. So it just takes a second just to download the images. So what it's done is it's that thick file of paper we put it in. It's classifying what it is. So it's saying this is an express ship way bill, money for the world way bill, and you have a back form, all take green or more health insurance name. So it's classified the different types of dodging. These pretty important because it split the documents. So what we're doing is tasks so difficulties with document process in terms of document processing is you need to know what is a document, including the first to the last take. So we start with document and we sent it over to um, the cloud to so you do the extraction. And what you're looking at here is our the box for the design of. So this one maybe isn't the best pretty duty, but you can design this spawn on the screen to look exactly how you want it. If you want it to look exactly like a document that a person's indexing for all of or validated, you can do that. If you just want to have it as a, as a plain set of fields, you can do that. So what we've done is just to give them the idea. So we've extracted the way they'll run up, um, the sender account number, the company name, 
receive your company and the value would be the most handwritten. So we haven't had to tell the system, we haven't told the cloud engine it's handwritten. We haven't told the cloud engine it's English. We just give it to it and then it's done that and it's worked it out using its AI. And if we just go down to, for instance, in the BAT ball, so it appears we have different option in types with different index fields. When it's tested by the doctor with type, you get the right index fields directly right in the tag. So the back form, we're just extracting three fields from the year of the machine then is. If we look at the also plane the ball, we've got another set of index fields, the health insurers one, where they're extracting more from the health insurers one. And then if you look at fast water application, one because of it we got. Where this is all in handwriting and we extracted the last name, uh, first name, really lame, better birth it. It's not necessarily going to be on either set. You can see here with Kansas City, there's a space deceit. Uh, when you're dealing with handwriting, then you have to recognize that you know, there may be errors. But for you to correct a few errors is a lot quicker than having to type everything in, which is what Nick McCutts are doing to in your past. Okay, so we felt a simple job we could go through, we could validate all the data. I'm just going to show you a few other things that, uh, just to give you a feel for a couple of fab engines. So if we do uh, a little voices job, so we're just going to scan some invoices and we're just going to close this batch. In this case, we have already separated the invoices. So the person doing the scanning can see that they can separate it. And because we're in the interest of time, we're going to go through duration for that one. But if we just open a cell of the way so we could earn it, I don't know. So this is an example of that invoices back. So what we've done here, I mean, the screen there, we go. Is we extracted the data from the invoice using a invoice glass of the mind for self. Okay, to give you an example of what that means, it can't come out here. I am now in and see but I'm configuring or I'm going to show you what is available in Azure to use for the intelligent AI today. So what do you have today is you have the ability to read a document, so if you ISO are, get a layout of a document. So if you give it a structured document, it will give you the OCR text in the layout, either zone set of coins on the document. General document, that would do a key value. Now, so data four says certain it in some first names, the give it to Microsoft. We will work at it and it will return to info that of my surname is taken to more than my first name is Steve, even though I haven't told it. That's what I wanted to get. So I can just give me books at the form, it gives you everything that using your sale. You let us actually like a Jew with a sack of front piece of paper and you have to look at your eyes. You would work out the self. It says surname, it says where's that and so. And then you have those are general models, and you have pre-built models, so you have models for invoices, uh, receipts, identity documents. If you put an invoice in, the invoice might be in English, it might be in Spanish, it might be in German, you will get the invoice read, and you'll get the information returned back in a consistent way, so you don't have to worry about all the languages that that invoice have died, originally written. So you can call on any of these models, including, I've got already had, um, the custom models. And so you can train the system yourself. So you can train Microsoft to learn your book. So you can train it how to learn to, to classify a wall board yet inside. You can train it to learn how to extract the information you want for your will. So you're not going to get in none of the pre-built apps. So all of this functionality is in Microsoft and it's available for people to use. Same kind of functionality to you, similar functionality in Amnesty. And what was really good thing about these cloud providers is they're constantly updated. So you can see there's some new ones that have come in for mortgage documents, marriage certificates, credit cards. 
So as they introduce new models, you can just leverage those models through InfoEco really easily. And that's one of the key benefits and one of the reasons why our strategy is to work with these spout providers because they've got the best resources, the best AI people, and they're constantly updated. So they have a whole division was um, dedicated to building a business around this kind of thing. Okay, so that's all we're calling on. So when I loaded these invoices, I literally employed a citizen to and wipe this off. It reads them and then it determines the values. Okay, so you're just understanding the document using AI and getting the results back. And then what info you adds is the ability to do what business rules around the data that's gone back. And then if anything needs to go to a human to review, then you can get it to automatically go into that queue so that someone will every bit and review the doc and certainly to the excitation that that was with. Whilst well, this is another one by our sort of the fast index we form, so we designed it just to book kind of up an invoice. We can see uh, that actually just always no line items, we're not extractive, but if you look for this one, you can see the line items. So you can design the form to do whatever you like. Um, you can have lookups, so you can look up vendors and any, any other data that you want to. So not to go through any more on the invoices. What I'm going to do is just discard that. And uh, just show you uh, another one just to give you a feel of the sub theme different because we doubt it all a lot of time. So if we do a translation demo, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan a document that's in English and just show yourself for yourself top tick keys there. But so uh, just to give you a feel for the features of now, so I'll close this batch. So what's going to happen with this one is we're going to go to the scan step. And with the other energies, with the other cloud energies, they're, they're kind of built in. So we can just use Google, we can use Microsoft and use those pre-built models. But we haven't spot on into translation. So what we want to do is do with our own functionality into InfoEpno to call translation service. So if you had a partner or a customer who wants to do something in their own applications, so we have one in Spain who has their own tools to do classification and extraction. And for certain documents, they ought to call their tool instead of tooling what we already saw. So what we can do with the um, InfoEpno is we can suspend the batch. So right now this batch is suspended and it's suspended while we handed this document to Microsoft and said, do your magic and translate it. And every two minutes or whatever it is, we'll go and check, see whether that document has been finished or not. So I'm not going to wait two minutes, so I hope one will just stand here. And if I open this one, so what, what it's done, and if you would ever leave me, you could open me on in this. Um, is it said this document to Microsoft, done a translation, there is returning it back and read the mistakes to start of those, we've got the document now in, hopefully you remain, um, and uh, done an OCR of that plot. It's not really show you that, but to show you that principle that we are very agnostic, we're very open to um, connectivity. If, you, if, you, if you've got an old system you want to connect to, we built in the architecture to enable you to do that. So you can use your own technology as well as the inbuilt technology being in for your go. Okay, so let's just develop this. Let's start and train this. Okay, so at a side what I'm showing you here is our kind of batch app shell application. So this is at the four of our ITP offering. Um, there is another side to the growing code as well. So I'll just show you a bit about that. So by coming to Salesforce and Oak Tree Reserve, time gap. So in growing code, we have something called transactional client. So we have our batch client, which is doing in the batch processing, has all classification, has all the 
um, intelligence, but we also have our transaction client, which allows you to embed a scan client in a web page. So we had investor tools, for instance, in the UK, where a pod I wanted to provide a you've even their own patient record system, the ability to scan. But what they didn't want to do was go to another application. I'll tell, I'll tell the people capturing the data to go to another application, scan it. Then somehow align that record back to what is in their system. So what they did was just wanted to embed a, a capture client within their system. So I'm in Salesforce, I'm in a customer record, and this is live, in a customer record that I can now scan and capture documents. You could also drag documents in, and some customers use this just to manually delete documents. So you just bring some pages in, and uh, just take a second. So both pages are in effect a fake in Salesforce now, so I can just save them as, a, as an attachment. And because I'm in the rep wall in Salesforce, I don't need to do any other indexing. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to somehow match what I've captured back to the original rep wall. I'm in the rep wall in Salesforce. So this is now the front down here. It's now attached this document to this rep wall in Salesforce. So the transactional client, which you see about is embedding a capture client inside Salesforce or some other application. So we've got other demos with it inside SharePoint. So you're inside SharePoint, you want to add some documents where you scan up or from the file system, you can use the capture client and you can also integrate this client, this capture client with me batch IBD system so you can while you're in Salesforce send document classification you get a result of that you can send it to its draft data and get the result of that so you can with this capture client we can now integrate this in your web page and then also get the benefits of um, the classification the intelligent side of batch capture okay so, so I hope you that is clear what that's to it. So we have a batch side, we have the transaction side. Um, we also, in terms of statistics, and um, I go to gear. So what we do is we, we are agnostic as to any tool that you might want to use for statistics. But when you're doing intelligent processing, people like DPOs, service bureaus, they want to capture how many documents are going through, what's been indexed, how many are be correcting, um, and a whole load of thick information. So what we do is we capture all the information in your vague space. And our preferred tool is Microsoft Power BI. So you can link Microsoft to our vague space and then you get dashboards, you can create your own dashboards. So you know, how many documents have you processed? How many of you um, imported and this that we go work, say all the documents you've imported, um, scan pages. So oh you'll leave the app used it's great for app and so that for us is is uh, yeah, it makes total sense to use Power BI to look at the data that's inside um info input and get statistics about what it's doing because it's always good to have an IDB solution. But what you need to do is supposed to make it easy for people to use and you need to improve it over top. So for us improvement is improvement in terms of the artificial intelligence thing. Really it gets better. Hand writing is so much better now than it was five years ago. It's incredible what it can do. So you, you have that technology, but also whilst you're capturing things, you want to know how to improve the process and to understand how to improve your process. We need to know what your process is. So we need to know how many batches are going through, how long it's taking you, which batches are taking longer, which documents are taking longer, so that you can define the process to um, make it better for, for the customer. 
So if I just go back to the arena. So we have a fire we're reusing for our capture. Just to give you a feel for the setup, um, if we have a look in here, so that's the correct re uh, Google Voice processing off. So this is a capture workflow. So we're not a full workflow solution. We're not a document management solution. We are just purely capture and capture you need a workflow. So we can build like fiber workflows with branches and each four steps. So what four trees is a you processing a hundred documents in a batch. You don't need to wait for all those documents to be verified and validated to get a two documents. The validation is able to hold the batch up. So you can split your batch into documents, let it all fly through, and then um, at the end, the three documents need to go to validation, maybe to a human, the other 97 or whatever will go straight into your into export and to your system. So we can do quite complex words though, is that if we look at the intelligent OCR, so what we can see in here, for this part we're using Google Document AI for invoices, so not Microsoft with Google. What we do is we match the results have come back from the cloud engine two fields that we've set up in info input. So this is why now, if it says remit to address or supplier address, often it's the use card to be English, so the field names they get back are in English. But it doesn't matter whether the invoice was in Spanish or any other language. It will map the data to the right index field using this uh, intelligent OCR map here. So we can create um, quite computated workflows that the whole idea is to make it really easy for a document to flow straight through the system. If it does need a human, then you can just step back like a hand to go to a human. And we, we're the ones who are doing this half, which is mapping the data that comes back from Microsoft or Google into the was what like say to you. Otherwise, if you set to documents Google, you could view that and you'll get back a mess with file with all the information that's retrieved in that document, but you don't want to wait, Mason. We just walk by the invoice done, bro. Guys, it's tiny. Okay, and just uh, one last thing to show. So, so there's other ones side to this on the configuration, but just one last thing to take a while. If I go into uh, in Batch Manager, and I say, do any this batch? So this just shows really on a summarizes what we can do. So we can classify these documents. We can send them to this case all four engines that we we don't that we support. There are one or two other, but they're very expensive, so I'm going to show them. Um, but uh, you know, you're not limited. So other systems will limit to my soft thing I think to do well they might have to two. Um, we we want to be open, you want to link to as many, you we don't want to say you can only use one. If you want to use our four and you're willing to pay the spawn now for uh, processing each and each to eat all four, you can do that. Uh, do you want to validate the all four the same result and then say, yeah, well, that's good. But if three said one fee and one said another, yeah, you might make the decision to accept that or give it to a human to, to review. You might not want them to do any of that, then you might want to say, well, this field to be done by Microsoft and I want that box to be done by Amazon because I'm getting a better result from one with the other. So I'd like to say that each engine is not perfect. But they're really, really, really good now. Um, but if, if you want to, you, and you have fun. and bring flexibility to go to any engine to get the results of in war. And that's one of the key differentiators. So we, we link with the cloud engines and use their better AI and we don't restrict you. Do you want to use? My also is a little bit of 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 a little
But then it, yeah, it would make itself. And for a turn to the screen design, where it's out of the actual process. Yeah, yeah, you can do whatever you can do what you like. So this, this is why we show this demo. So you can see that there are other technicals. And as you would, if you say, I want two, two boxes read by my engine and two by another, then you can do that. And we use a little, I mean, you like bikers up down and pull out a fish. Well, as well, that my wild bats on the bike back. Yeah, so, so for us, the licensing, so the actual cloud providers, you or your customer would have the license for the cloud engine. So if you're providing the service to a customer or all the customers using this, then they would have their own license. So we have a big BPO in the UK who are moving away from the code facts to info and input. And uh, they've got a significant value of two, uh, lots of jobs they work from the UK government. And um, yeah, they, they have their own license with Microsoft, they have their own license with you. So they handle that side of it. Um, you don't have to come to us by the license because if you did that, we'd have to add our own margin or tile. So at the moment, we may offer that the future, but right now, you, you would have that connection yourself with this out your way. So we were just doing incredible work with that and very of it. And uh, yeah, so so I him to uh should be for it, but what he needs to get in his Microsoft Azure account enabled just to let him use that function and intelligence. And once he's got that in Iran and he voices in uh, forms in the he does. So are there any other lessons? Uh, oh, with the LPA in the end, we'll know. RPA. Love this, I'll be over it. To a printer, uh, we could, could we, by default, no. We could, we could, we could create that by default. He's standing, and now there's no bird that. Yeah. So you scare it, and it was as other light did that said, let's start. Yeah, so, so what we do, um, we have, we have uh, built-in exports, but you also have the ability to either do it yourself or we can do it for you and write your own custom export. Yeah, so, so we can do that. But well, it's not going to be for it. We have another piece of software called Capture Pride, which does it by into group, but uh, yeah, not by the info that the card. You can't only go in and for things that will off ones in history. So I'll let you know about West Key, that's already for you all to see, and maybe by the for it. I just thought uh, cute words, and I would like to introduce myself, I'm um, Brad and Josie, I'm the trusted sales manager for the region, and uh, I hope you like to the Steam's great presentation, and give you a thing, not being playing with solution, but why the range of uh, royalty cards that are the creation, Ricard, and go with the solution. Uh, and the idea is I have some small gifts if you have more questions to speak. So the first one is you ask because we didn't hear your staffs, but any questions from your staff? Yeah. Is it people with well, the Norwegian? Are the same with the Basel in Norwegian? When he, uh, the platform. And you remain the pipe? Yes, sir. Yeah, so, so right now, you were talking about it, so um, the user in this place is in the alpha of I reduce to Polish or books in uh, not in Romanian, but if there's enough interest that we can get a translation, it's much easier for us to do the user interface that the operator is dealing with. The administration will probably stay mostly in English, and there's the user side that would be in. The, in the uh, like like if so that by now it's not but we can do that. Yes, I have I had so it's all so exciting. So you can boom, yeah, so you could either buy it in a pace or does it buy it out for you could do or you can or you can do a subscription 
and copy to the Bible and you take a list of Bobo in the man in the and in how that's set up. But uh, yeah, so you have, to have different options for how to even buy it. But so uh, in the normal, if they're going to such church from the freezer itself, on the way to cross rather than an updraft cross, which is in zero past to but, but it's, it's your choice. But I some confidence in our forcing you to do subtraction, but it's up to you that you will space that ball. Subtraction. And about an hour or more, so I wait. So, thank you, Larry.